The biggest hard uh, horde guild in hardcore classic has been playing semi hardcore the whole time. Blood and Thunder. The biggest horde guild on hardcore classic. A guild that wouldn't do dungeons with non guildies and wouldn't invite people that had their deaths appealed by the hardcore mods team. Auto appeal a female guild member's five minute long wipe. Her hearth is on CD because she didn't use she didn't use petrification and she blamed it on a game bug. It appears that since the guilds judge themselves whether or not a death is appealable, all legit hardcore guilds just appeal their deaths. So they investigate themselves and they find they did nothing wrong. This is the same guild that witch friend that witch hunted a friend of mine who is a healer because they made a mistake in Zul Gurub, ZG. Uh, apparently, the story goes that somebody, uh, someone hearsay accused a guy of planning to grief Blood and Thunder. So when they lost five people to a trash AoE spell, they blamed him, even though it was people and the tank's own fault should have stunned or moved away. They lost five people to the Gurabashi, because uh, you, know you know what it is, right? It's the Gurabashi Berserker. It's the Spinny Boy thing. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it was the bats? What? Oh my god. Oh no, the Axor, yes. The Berserkers are the big boys. Yeah, the Axors. Oh my god. The bats, it's even worse. Bro, it's classic. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So, this is the ZG situation, alright? Let's look at the ZG situation first. Here we go. So where's the okay, the bat rider's right is right there, okay. So two sunders, four warriors. Okay. But why would he But why would he But why would they have them on top of each other? I don't understand. Why would they do that? So let me explain. Uh, oh yeah, people don't play. People don't play well. So the, these bat riders, whenever they get low health, they blow up. Unless you kill them really fast. Okay. Good. Okay, they killed one of them. Unstable concoction. Big idiot died. Yep. Because you can see them. Look. They don't even try to move out. Look at this mage. Wait, the mage doesn't even die. Of all the people that deserve to fucking die, it should have been the mage. It was a bug. What's the bug? I'm confused. Yeah, did he, did he cast it early? There was no bug. Yeah, look at this. He He's casting the spell. Now, usually, to be fair, usually they cast it at a lower health pool. They Petried? No way they Petried. Oh my god. No, they didn't. Jesus, that is fucking bad. I can't believe that. And they just stood there like bots. Like, none of them even tried to move. And, like, you see Mr. Rogue. He's like, oh, the ability that will cause the NPC to explode is about to occur. I should move my character away from the NPC so I don't get hit by the explosion. Er? Oh, wow. Everybody else died. Must be a bug. Appeal. Does the NPC move? No, it does not. Uh, as soon as he begins that cast, he stops moving. And even if he does move, the war the tanks could have the tanks survived. Or at least two of them did. Uh, and, and they could have just used a cooldown. The bug is them. They got squished like one. True. 
Oh my god. That is... What a fucking... What a situation. And apparently, they lost five people. They blamed Doc Cock. Where's Doc Cock? Wait. The healer? Oh, that makes sense, because he should have healed them. Yeah, I mean, if he had healed them... Uh, they wouldn't have died, right? I mean... Sure. I love how this guy goes berserker stance. Did you really think berserker stance was the right thing to do in that situation? Of all of the things in all of the situations, was Berserker Stance the right option? I think not. How the fuck was he supposed to yield that damage? I mean, to be fair, he could have bubbled some of them, but, like, it, it's their fault. It's not his fault. They're stupid. He's not stupid. That's why they're dead and he's not. Okay, so now let's see the second situation. Here we go. Miss B, I'm tuned in in the stream. I'm a viewer. Okay. These are pretty quick runs. I thought these took longer. I don't know. No, they're pretty... Nah. Do this solo. Yeah, I see why now. Oh, shit, Miss B, dude. What? How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. I, there's... I can't target him either. I can't do anything to help, yeah. yeah it sucks. Really I got a pack for you. <clears throat> That's there. smart oh for God. him to do that. Oh, we got feared. Oh. Looks like they're gonna get away. Keep going. I wonder if I can distract him. Dummy. He is on no, somebody fine. else. I think I'm guessing. Yeah, he feared us. Feared. Yeah, he's on the mage. Dude, the mage is gonna block. Yeah, yeah Jesus. Block he's got to be coming to me now. We can't we can't target him? Can you vanish, right. Bruno? Yeah, but I don't want to vanish on somebody else. Yeah, That's come on. I just go Kristen. I would. Hearth, Hearth, what are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. He's on the way back. He's on the yeah, way back. He's on the way back to you, Chris. I'm hearthing. I'm hearthing. I'm hearthing. I don't think he's going to make it, dude. That guy's hauling ass. You have ass. a Petri? I'm not going to make it. Please I do have a Petri. Please. Do it. Do it. Please. 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 Oh, my God. Please. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, God. No. Block. What the fuck oh. was that? Holy he's shit. Stuck. Is he still running after people or what? I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, he is still running after people. Let's go. Just get to the reset spot. So once wait, why did they run? Whoa, level. wait, wait. Why did they run back up? Wait. Why would they fucking do that? They'll jump down the way that I did. I... Yep. How? We're going all the way back to that skull. one you got to show at the start, right? Yep. Just uh -huh. run out of the instance and reset. What are you doing? It's like bugged out on the railing so you guys got lots of time now yes sims i don't know if you'll be able to just run enough. out what the fuck is wrong with you guys he's, he's I've never big seen enough. Happen. i have never seen this happen no i'm just worried about y'all being in combat Dude, this so. guy yeah. walks by him and just like, got I'm, walked i can, <laughs> i assume that i'm safe because i got the suit yeah on. yeah probably mm -hmm. like i, just, I, I think I'm not you may have walked or anything. up early actually I think you may have walked up too early. I think he's okay. Yeah. I just don't want to vanish and then. So I'm actually yeah. about to jump on the evade spot, I think. Yeah, but... go to the evade spot. Go to the evade spot. I mean, this is an evade spot, but. I'm out of combat. You guys are making me nervous. I'm in combat. Just zone, out. <laughs> just zone out of the instance. What are you doing? What are you thinking? Some word in the suit. Why don't you just zone out? Just get out of the fucking instance. Be a little loud. Good here, right? Oh my uh, god. Well, what explain? Yeah, this no, big red just, guy is running you're, you're after fine. them. Just, so he is, now fine. he's not red and he is walking Oh my back, god, I pulled the freaking Which I assume means he's going to get back to the front. Oh my god. Wait, what? yo. What did she say? Which I assume means he's going to get back to freaking no, he's not red, and he is walking back. Oh my back. god, I pulled the freaking... 
Which I assume means he's gonna get back to the front. Oh my god, what Look at their health. What is going on? Oh, there's a bunch of other mobs coming now. You're gonna have to Petri most likely. I don't have one. I am too. Oh, okay, I'll just one? Petri. I'm dropping group. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh no. What the fuck is yes. this? Why did she run back? She could have left the instance. Why did she run back? Uh, she's a girl? No. No. This actually isn't because she's a girl. It's because she's a classic player. The guys are doing the same thing. Look at this guy. What's he doing? I'm just gonna hearth. That's what I'm gonna try. She was to on do. a reset ledge and jumped off because she thought he reset and ass pulled a pack. I just I Okay, so he's gonna hearth I'm out. probably dead here. Wait, she's dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Ooh. Died at level 60. Her last words were two, please. Well, she got more than that. Jesus. How I'm you gonna be that? honest. I think this is natural selection. Petri, what the fuck? I've been trying to get a Petri made for three days. And beat ups just never answers. Mm. Well, now mm. you can level for three days. Well... Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and now we're going to look at the uh, uh, the post about the situation. Okay, so now you've seen what happened, and we are going to look, and we're going to see what it was. And this is the girl that died. You can see she has the same name as she had on Discord uh, during the overlay in this call right here. And he is walking. And oh you my can God. see her right there. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this here. For transparency, my appeal was approved. Really. Thank you, officers, for looking over the video. I am going to take some time to consider whether I want to undelete. I appreciate y'all encouraging me to post it. I was just going to delete my character and go to bed. Heh. <laughs> It feels weird not to undelete given just how egregious that bug was. It feels weird to undelete because I've never done anything like that before. I don't know. I have some thinking to do. I'm not sure if that was a bug. Like, I, 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 I don't know if it was. Because, so this is what happened, right? So she talks to him. Why was she there? Why would you stand there? Are you fucking stupid? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. I am so glad that she died. Because there is nothing that pisses me off more than these, like, brain-dead players that have to move up and get too close to a boss. Or get too close to what's going on. Oh, I have to get out. I have to see what's going on. No, you fucking don't. No, you don't. You should have never fucking been there. And and everybody else wasn't over there. And you know why? Because they're not fucking stupid. And that's what... It's her own fault. Yes, and she's a healer. It's insane. You shouldn't... Is it 20 years ago? Yeah, this is not... Read the comments below the appeal. I will in a minute. Somebody says, this hurt my soul. Bro, this hurt my brain. He's running away. So, this is what I think happened. Um, I guess it made him move away whenever she talked to him. And because she was too close to his aggro range... 
whenever he ran to the other location as an outcome of the dialogue. Well, l let me see what happens. Like, uh, here, let me let me just see. How does this work? Uh, Hunter, Solo, Dire Mall. Uh, tribute run. L l let's Let's see what normally happens here. Okay. So usually he just hunters can't skip. Hunter skip can't compare. Yeah, I was going to see what happens if you actually talk to him to see if it changed it at all. Because my understanding is that he always does that. Did you hide in a corner and wait for the boss to walk past you if you don't have a suit? Yeah. Because like if you look look at the look at the mini map you see, there's the, uh, see, Kristen and Sims, they didn't fucking die. You know why? Because they're out of range. But this girl, for some reason, thought, oh, I want to get, I want to stand close. I want to stand close to the boss. You see that? Because you can see it from the minimap. There, there's her right there. She should have never been there. RP wasn't done. She walked up into aggro range. Yeah. Followed by stealth rogue. Yeah, but the stealth rogue doesn't matter because he's stealth. Oh my god, 100% not a bug. I don't think that's what it was at all. She wanted a rat next to him, and the guy was talking to a boss in a suit and got put in combat from that? Well, the other guy didn't die. Hold up, she didn't end up hearthing out? No, do you want to know why she didn't hearth out? Uh, oh, oh, her hearth is on CD, apparently. Which is like, okay, reasonable. But she wouldn't have even been able to hearth out. Ah, oh, that's nuts, man. She didn't drop group. She didn't do anything. And not only that, like, I just can't get over how egregious this, uh, how egregious this is. This is a huge fucking mistake. Because it's like, she ran away, and then, bro, she came back. She came back three times. Like, look at this. She kept running back. She looks she's in range again. What the fuck are you doing standing in range? And and obviously this girl is hearthing, so she's gonna know, like, bro, like if he hits her, she's dead. You can see her right behind him. Oh my this is making me mad. Just watching it's making me mad. Look at her and then she turns her. What the what the fuck are you doing? Look at this! What the what 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 what? Oh, don't 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 no! What what are you turning around for? Why did you turn around? What is wrong with you? Look, let's watch it in slow motion, guys. You want to watch it in slow motion? Here we go. And she's running away. Hole up. Let's backpedal for a second. Uh, no, 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 shit, no. <laughs> oh my god. And what is the fucking hunter doing? I just... I usually wouldn't be this brutal about it, but there are two reasons why I'm being absolutely fucking savage with this. Number one is because I have a personal fucking vendetta against players that get too close to a boss or get move up. Like you're supposed to stand back and like, remember whenever I would put the raid marker and I said anybody that goes past this raid marker gets kicked out of the raid and I do it? I fucking hate that. Oh, it makes me so mad. It is the most annoying shit. Because, like, people just follow directions, do what you're told, play like a bot. That's all I- you're not a person. Stop be- stop thinking for yourself. That's the worst thing you can do, especially if it's classic WoW. 
and they fall. Oh, I'm just getting soaked in just a minute. I'm not in Old War anymore. It's okay. I'm not in Old War. Gus can't hurt you anymore. Oh, God. Number one can't hurt you. Yeah. Okay. And the other reason is the fact that she had the audacity to call this a bug. Because do you want to know what my hot take is? If I think that if it actually bugged out, I think she should have been able to appeal. I do. Because it was a, it was a genuine bug. Even though she made mistakes afterwards and she could have overcome the bug, I think that if you die to a bug, that is not in the essence of dying to a mistake in the game. But there wasn't a bug. And we saw that. Not a bug, it's part of the game. Yeah, I think so. She could have made it out. She could have made it out multiple times. She could have left the group and then ghetto hearthed out. Isn't bug just unintended game mechanic? Well, no, no. I mean, bug is like you fall through the floor and you die to just like... Like, you just clip through the ground and you just die. Like, there's plenty of actual bugs in the game, but this just wasn't one of them. Yeah, it, it, it was not a bug. So, she ran after in the mobs. Yeah. She aggroed the mob before the RP was done. Yes, that's what she did. And she did that because she couldn't wait to, to, to just, like, just stand back with everybody else. But no, she's special. Well, let's go back and look at this. See you tomorrow. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm quitting the guild. I'm trying to play hardcore. Thanks for everything, y'all. Might as well just appeal everything, to be honest. Since, hard, since official's coming soon, let us have our fun. I can respect that. It's just not for me. I just won't res if it's going to drive you away, suck. It's not personal to you. It's not your fault the appeal got approved. Well, it's her fault she put the appeal in. Come on. Uh, you drink a lot for the community. Wish you the best. Everyone has their own line of what should be approved and what shouldn't. I don't know which bugs are acceptable and which ones aren't. This is what... This is my completely unsolicited opinion. I think that if somebody dies to something that's not in their control or a malfunction in the game, counting a death against them is not within the spirit of the game. And so I think appeals are fine. But this was not a bug, and she played exceptionally bad afterwards. It's not a bug. The boss works like that. Yeah, that's why I'd want to see another clip of that boss in PC. But yeah, I don't know. She was organizing our MC run and doing spreadsheets. Well, good for her. Now she'll have more time to focus on organizing the spreadsheets because she won't be able to play the game. Um, let's see here. Appeal seems within the guidelines of the entire community. Follow as followed for years. I wouldn't sweat just one opinion. Hardcore is a personal challenge. No, it's not if you're having other people involved. Um, okay, honestly, been debating and deleting slash rewriting because what's the point leadership probably be mad at my perspective i'm dead so what does my opinion matter first i don't see a bug in this clip i see miss b pulling the boss before the suit dialogue is complete zomb is wearing a suit so it makes interacting with the captain funky and miss b gets in combat she safely navigates to a safe spot at this point i think the whole thing starts anew why the boss had pulled is kind of irrelevant. She knew the boss had pulled. She knew it had padded out of the room back towards the courtyard. She drops down, aggros the pack in the corner. Boss runs back and aggros her again and kills her. Sucks, but why is that appealable? Based dot me up. Based as fuck. True, real, accurate, like absolute, like this, just everything is right about what he said. And everybody knows it. Personally, think it was appealable until you go to the ledge and made a choice to jump down and pull an extra pack. I don't even see a bug before then. She pulled the boss and... Yeah, Bo, he's not done. He said before the event even started. That's not true, though. Look at the combat states again. Combat starts and stops with the rat when it's killed. Combat starts after the boss goes invulnerable, untargetable. Boss hits me, combat drops. Boss hits me again. No combat. That's why the resets... I think that's why the resets didn't work, to be honest. Well, it doesn't matter if the resets worked because you got killed by another mob. You didn't even kill, get killed by the boss. Look, she, she didn't even die to the boss. 
She died by a Gork, uh, a Gordok Warlock. It had nothing to do with the boss. So, I mean, like, who cares? Uh, sorry, Miss B, I really am. It's nothing about you, it's honestly not, but I've never seen this appeal approved ever. I knew moving appeals to the guild was fraught with danger because it was open to abuse. This looks like abuse to many people, and not just me. They should have had me review every appeal. I would have never made a bad decision. I, I would never, ever make a bad decision on an appeal. And I, I don't know why they didn't just uh, they didn't just let me know. Because I, I would have, I, like... I'm gonna be honest, I, I know a lot about the game. But I, I could, I, I've been raiding in this game 15 years. Like, I would have never made this mistake. You get bored in two weeks? No, I wouldn't. The, the, the being able to dictate life and death, to dispense justice or punishment at my own will and discretion, I would never get tired of that. I would, I would do appeals for free. Yeah, content. Yeah, maybe that, that'd be a good idea. The classic hardcore team, you know what they should do? They should give me the appeals. Let me read the appeals and let me decide. Yeah, let me do it on stream. Let me read them and decide. She should take priority. Yeah, appeals on stream. Exactly. Yeah, Cargos can hit me up if he's interested in it. Yeah, weekly appeal stream. Yeah, do it every day. Maybe like every other day. Like 50 appeals. Knock them out. I like this idea a lot. This sounds really good. I really, really like this idea. This would be perfect. Judgment day every other day. Yes, exactly. The chat should vote? No. Uh, justice is not a democracy. Uh, I understand the game better than everybody else, and so it should just be ma me making the decisions. You know, maybe chat might have some insight here and there, but uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be me. So, yeah. It's appeal to you. Yes, we will have public executions. Exactly. Yes, please, please send me the appeals. Please let me see the appeals. I need this. Anyway. I don't have a 60, one for two-ish weeks. This looks like abuse to many people, not just me. It didn't look appealable either, but it doesn't affect me either way. Yes, it does. It affects everybody. Using an evade spot to bugs mobs is kind of an exploit and a bug in its safe. Just saying you were safe could have frankly uh, uh, just hearthed out. Everyone has a different line. Jumping down because a reset appears to have worked. Boss continuing on its path and then not being true is definitely a bug. It doesn't. I, I don't even see the extra pack as an issue since Zombard is there and can pick them up. Well, what, what do you mean Zombard is there and can pick them up? So, so like, let me get this straight. So you expect the tank who has 4,800 health. Is, is that correct? I think that was the number. Oh, 5,000. Uh, I, I guess I was wrong. Uh, yeah, 4,900 health. That was quite close. Uh, you expect him to tank uh, all of these mobs? But what, what, what do you think is going to happen? And also, if you expected him to do that, why didn't you say for him to do that? Why didn't you say, hey, can you pick up these mobs? I aggroed them. No communication. No awareness. I wonder if she was using nameplates. How, uh, how can you and Zombard two-person that pack? I don't think you can. Like, four forms of CC. Okay, so you've got fear, and you've got mind control. But if you mind control, then you can't heal the tank. So that's just not, that's not going to happen. And, and also, the fear is, yeah, and then the fear aggros more mobs. And, and on top of that, he has a fear, and you have a fear, so they DR each other. Honestly, I'm disengaging. I've said my piece. You guys do you. I'll do me. I won't res, guys. I'm not coming back. Take the res. I guess I don't understand. See, this is... Bro, what's this fucking ego that these people have? They can never just take an L. You can never just say, Hey, guys, I fucked up. I made a mistake. No. And it's not enough. Everybody says, Hey, we're okay with it. You know, we personally don't agree, but you're going to do what you're going to do. And then she says, Okay, I'm not going to res. But apparently, that wasn't a fuck enough, because she had to sit there and type that shit out, because it's not enough to be able to get your character back, or be able to potentially get your character back, but you have to make sure you, you fucking, you, you make sure everybody else knows that you were in the right. Oh, how pathetic. Let's see here. Um, I, I guess I don't understand the appeal is so egregious to you guys. Boss was ent entirely uninteractive, and had appeared to reset, but didn't. 
from the start of the pull to the end. The boss is non-targetable, no combat state was complicating factor. You can say it's the exact same thing for charging through the world and drowning or being griefed by a scatter feigned mob. Those get appealed. I won't res because this is upsetting, I think, but I don't see how officers have deviated either. Personally, I delete. People charge through the world and drown, uh, but they think they can just log off but they can actually just log off and instantly reset. It, it's just crazy to me. It's absolutely astonishing that you're approved just res. I really don't want to be the symbol of like the guild somehow not being hardcore or anything. It's not her fault. Ultimately, it is and it's not. She should have never appealed but the officers should have never, uh, like, they, 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 they were the ones that approved it, right? If they hadn't approved it, then she wouldn't have rest, theoretically. Appeal shouldn't be approved? Yeah. Judgment Day again? Yeah, this is Judgment Day Part 2. She's not resing because of Lashback? You mean Backlash? Otherwise, she would have? Yeah, that's true. Uh, which is, I mean, I think that's fine. Play the game, appeal, uh, all the points are making, but if, if you're not in charge of the appeal, it really doesn't matter what your stance is. It's either granted or it's not. Yeah, true. Free throw line, the official says it's a foul. True. There seems to be a lack of officer communication on this incident. I'm going to jump in here before this turns into a dumpster fire. Apologies if you don't know me, uh, as I died before most of you uh, dinged 60. Here's my opinion. A discussion did not take place amongst the officers between whether or not this appeal should be approved or denied. This decision still needs to take place, and I think a vote is a fair... Wait, what? My appeal was approved... Well, then who, appeal who, who approved the appeal? It was a single officer making the appeal decision, jumping the gun before the officer court decided. And what did the officer corps actually decide? Ultimately, what, what ended up happening? We've got the GM in chat. This is the guy. He says, this death never got appealed. Please, no troll. We did not appeal. We voted to not appeal. An officer, what happened to the, did, did anything happen to the officer? What do you say? I, I know you typed something. Let me refresh. He stepped down whenever, when I became GM. Well, I think that's fair. Yeah, it seems like the guild actually handled it in a pretty fair way. Yeah, I actually think that's pretty fair. Yeah, okay. Sure. All right. Fair enough. I'm going to type in all caps locks while everyone understands. Yeah, I know. Well, that's it's louder that way, right? So people can hear you. He lost his job because a female player. Um, I, I don't know if it's because, like, obviously, like, everybody always has, like, a um, agenda with, like, this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to be honest, bro. Like, look, this guild, like, had five people die to this. And, and they were saying they got trolled because they couldn't move out of an AoE. Like, I really don't think that this is an outcome of, like, being simps. I just think it's an outcome of people being fucking garbage. Like, I mean, really. Like, uh, come on, guys. Like, let's be real. Yeah, they're getting griefed. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Just casual players. Yeah, they're not. It's, it, this isn't a, a, a woman situation. This is a this is a clown situation. Of death and ZG happened before I became GM, and the story is messy. Well, I'll tell you one thing that was messy is this fucking explosion and this goddamn raid. That was really messy. So, yeah, I don't know what happened. All I'm saying is that if I look at that, who am I going to say who's at fault? Everybody that fucking died. Because you can easily move out of that. Nobody should ever fucking die to that. It is a joke that the mage even got hit by it. That is hilarious. Can't believe it. Bro, this guy took over a clown of a girl. Bro, this guy took over a circus. Have fun, man. None of the raiders got uh, GFPPs whenever they asked for them. And we had three people with sub-20% active times. Well, why would it matter? I mean, like, you know the way that these NPCs work, right? Is that between, like, at, at under 50%, there is a chance that they will cast uh, the unstable concoction. Like, it doesn't mean that they will cast it the second they go under 50%. Some of them cast at 10%, some of them cast at 20, uh, at 20, some of them cast at 45, right? So you know that's going to happen. And you need to make a an immediate judgment call. Is the damage going to kill the boss before you uh, before uh, before it dies? And 
again, this is a lack of leadership because leadership should say stay in or move out. And you can always move out, but you cannot always stay in. It is a, like it, it is indisputably a, a, a management issue. There is no excuse for it. Nothing. Just always move out. Yes. Well, no, you don't always move out. Sometimes you can kill them. And if you know that you have the damage, you can kill them. You can always move out, but you cannot always stay in. That's nice. Yes, exactly. That's why I took over. And another prior leadership had no experience. That's pathetic. Yeah. I mean, like, bro, like, uh, honestly, when it, well, I mean, bro, they're doing you a favor, man. This is natural selection. There you go. Maybe now you guys can play the game. Holy shit, man. This is just pissing me off. I read this. Player made hardcore not being legit. What a surprise. Yeah, for sure. Uh, wow, people think cheating in hardcore is whenever you disable the add-on. How surprising is that? For sure. Shocking. Current form of hardcore is just a play date between kids making up their own rules. Has to be enforced by gaming company or nobody else takes anything seriously. I think that most of the appeals are totally fine. And these people appealing themselves is just, uh, you know, it's problematic. And I think the guild acknowledged that and it got taken care of. I'm going to be totally honest, though, guys. I think this is way more interesting. If we don't have appeal drama, what's the fucking point? Am I crazy here? I love the idea of appeal drama. It's way fucking and more interesting than you lose your character and you die. And hey, yo, people might not believe me. Just wait three months after Classic Hardcore is out, and then we'll see how many people give a fuck. Yeah, it's like ban appeals. Yeah, it's great content. It's great for the community. It gets everybody talking about the game. Everybody has a fucking opinion about it. It is amazing. This is Judgment Day Part 2. And apparently, the right thing has happened. There we go. That's it. The one true appeal king? Yeah, I will never make a bad decision with an appeal. That's just the truth. Uh, I'm just I'm sad that people don't come to me to, to help me, to, for me to help them make the decisions. Yeah, I mean, I would never make a bad decision. 